How's it going, guys? Welcome back. It's your old pal, Baba Ganesh, here once again. So we are only a few days away from the start of my upcoming Appalachian Trail through hike, and I am so excited. I'm giddy with anticipation. I can't wait. So I figured I would bring you another video here today to give you guys uh, a closer look and more of an insight as to what type of equipment uh, and what type of gear I'm going to be carrying with me. Specifically in today's video, I want to talk about the kind of clothing that I have chosen to carry with me on my upcoming Appalachian Trail through hike. So settle on in and we'll go ahead and get into it. So okay guys, like I said, today I want to talk about the clothing system that I have chosen to get me from Georgia to Maine. Now, understandably, as the seasons do progress and the warmer weather changes, I will be changing some pieces of equipment, but there's a lot that will remain the same nonetheless. So in today's video, we'll go ahead and talk about a few things. We'll talk about uh, the winter setup that I have for my clothing system, and then we'll go ahead and talk about my summer system as well. As I go through each item of clothing, I will do my best to uh, give you the name of each item of clothing as well as its overall weight. Towards the end of each segment, I will also do overall total weights of each segment, winter gear as well as summer gear, so you guys can really see how it's going to affect my overall pack weight. So since I'm going to be starting in colder weather, obviously the best thing to do is to talk about the clothing that I'll be starting with on my upcoming Appalachian Trail through hike. Let's go ahead and talk about it, guys. So okay, guys, there you have it. Obviously, it's not a whole lot much but it's a system that I have a lot of experience with and it's a system that works very well for me. So just to give you guys a quick rundown, everything that you see to the left side grouped together there, that will be all the clothes that I'll be hiking with during the day. So because those items will always be on my person, they will not be counted against my overall weight. Everything that you see grouped together to the right will be on my pack one way or another. Therefore, those items will be uh, going against my overall pack weight. Start over. So, okay, guys, uh, let's start over on this side and talk about the clothes that I'll be hiking in uh, to start my upcoming through hike. So, to start off with, let's talk footwear. These will be the Ultra Lone Peak 3.5. Uh, very comfortable shoes. I did a separate review on these. If you click in the upper right hand corner, you can go ahead and take a look at that separate video. But these will be the shoes that I'll be starting with to protect. To protect my feet inside those shoes, to the left, I do have a pair of Cool Mesh 2 sock liners. Uh, I decided to go back to the sock liners. My feet just feel overall a little bit more comfortable. Uh, they are a little bit more breathable as well, so they help keep my feet dry, especially in a slight drizzle. To the right, I have a pair of darn tough quarter length socks. Not much more I can say about them. The old reliable, obviously the most recommended pair for the ultras is the Injinji toe socks, but those don't work well for me. The darn tufts are tried and true, and that is what I will be going with. Down below here, just a pair of simple trail runners. Uh, nice and lightweight. I've had them for a couple years now. I love how they have the Velcro in the front. Nice and simple. Keep the dirt and debris out. Shed a little bit of the water as well. Do the job for me. On top of my head, you always see me wearing some kind of buff. To the left, that is that buff sitting right there. I love buffs, super breathable, super uh, quick drying as well. Um, you can use them in so many different configurations. They're incredibly versatile. To the right, I have a secondary one, which I'll be using as primarily just a face mask for during those cold, windy days. Uh, and then at camp, it's great to use as kind of like a balaclava to help keep my face warm uh, throughout the night. My t-shirt of choice will be the Outdoor Research Echo Duo. Uh, I used to just carry the REI Co-op tech tees but after weighing them i realized that they were almost six ounces a piece so i decided to switch things up decrease a little bit of overall weight and i went with the outdoor research echo duo they come in at only 2.8 ounces so just a quick little upgrade with t-shirts gives me a nice weight savings so this right here is actually replacing my brooks long sleeve runner shirt i know i've had that brooks long sleeve runner shirt for a long time it's one of my favorite pieces of gear but the uh, thumb holes were starting to really come apart and the stitching was starting to come apart. So I figured, let me get something fresh to start my hike with. This is the REI Spree uh, quarter zip long sleeve shirt. It does have the thumb holes built in, which is what I really like. 
but moisture wicking, quick drying. But it is nice how it is that long sleeve, so especially in the winter, colder months, something that at least keeps me a little bit warmer, but still helps keep me dry and helps keep me cool. Obviously, I got to cover up the legs one way or another. I will be wearing the uh, the Solomon Cairn six inch running shorts. Uh, they do have the inner net, which I really, really like just for the breathability, the overall comfort. Uh, I love that part of it, as well as the overall weight savings because I don't have to bring uh, extra boxer briefs with me. Uh, just really nice and versatile. Can't say enough about them. Now, for those cold, chilly days, I have started wearing uh, the odd low base layer tights. Now, these are a base layer, but they're kind of a compressive base layer. So I kind of really use them as hiking tights or running tights primarily. They are very breathable. Uh, yes, they are a little bit compressive, but they are very stretchy and a very forgiving compressive. So I have zero loss of mobility whatsoever. So I love putting them on in some of the chillier temperatures. They're still very breathable to help keep me dry, but they cover up my bare skin, help keep me a little bit warmer than I otherwise would be. Do a great job for me. Those will, those will be coming with me especially during those colder days to start off with. I will be hiking with those very, very often. So, okay, guys, now that I've done uh, the clothes that I'll be hiking in, let's go ahead and talk about my camp clothes as well as my rain gear uh, and talk about the items that will actually count against my overall base weight. So starting over on the left side here, a pair of ex officio boxer briefs. Uh, primarily bring those just for camp clothes at night as well as they'll be great to wear underneath my rain gear for while I'm in town, uh, while I'm doing laundry and things. Uh, down below here, these are going to be my base layers, the Smart Wool Ultralight 150 gram base layers. These come in at only six ounces. I really love them. They're very lightweight, very breathable, just what I was going for. Certainly, I know a lot of people like to bring mid-weight layers, but the primary purpose of a base layer is to be your breathable layer. So I figured go breathable, and then that way, uh, what I put on top of it can be something really nice and insulated. Continuing with that lightweight theme, I do have the bottoms to those same smart wool uh, base layer tops. These are the 150 gram. The pants come in at five ounces. So really nice and lightweight combination between the two of them. Nice and breathable. They definitely get the job done for me. Now on to one of my favorite pieces of gear, and this is going to be something that is incredibly versatile for me. This will serve primarily as my mid-layer top. However, this is also a great jacket for during those colder days where I need just a little extra insulation without being too overbearing. Uh, I, love the, I love how your core is all insulated, but then the back and underneath your arms is all vented. So again, something really nice and versatile, mid-layer. Uh, at camp, but also serves as a great daytime jacket if it's a little bit cold. This is the Patagonia Nano Air Light Hybrid. It comes in at 10.4 ounces. Really, really nice and lightweight, incredibly versatile piece of equipment. And then down below here to go along with that mid-weight layer, um, one of the warmest pair of fleece pants I've ever owned, the REI Fleece Teton 100s. These will come in at 10 ounces, uh, cut to fit. So they are a pretty fit cut, but that's for a reason. Very, very comfortable, very warm. They definitely get the job done for me. So wearing that combination over the top of my base layers have, has proven to me in the past to work very well at both keeping me dry uh, and most importantly, keeping me warm at camp. Now, if all else fails, obviously having a good puffy is a great way to give you that extra protection to increase your body temperature and keep you a little bit warmer at night. This is the Arcteryx Cerium LT, the hooded version. This comes in at 10.1 ounces. Uh, really nice and lightweight. It's an 850 fill down jacket. I love it. It's so warm. I love the hood on there. Uh, I love how compact it is as well. Can't say enough about it. And then, of course, got to keep your extremities nice and warm. You have to. Uh, fingers and toes are the first things to get cold, so you got to really make sure you have something good to protect them. To your left there, you have the Smart Wool, uh, the Trekker Weight uh, Merino Wool socks. They are really nice and thick, really nice and warm. I love them. Underneath that, to the right of that, that is the REI Merino Wool Sock Liner. Really nice and lightweight, really soft. The two combination, the combination of both of those together works really well for me. 
Continuing to the right, pair of gloves right there. They are by Cyrus or Cirrus. I can never remember how to say that brand. They are the waterproof version, and I love the fact that they're waterproof, especially if I get rained on, freezing rain, snow, with my hands being out in front on trekking poles. It prevents them from getting soaking wet and getting freezing cold. Really love how they're nice and lightweight as well. And then finishing that off to your right, that is the Mountain Hardware Fleece Beanie that comes in at only 0.8 ounces. Incredibly nice and lightweight. I absolutely love how lightweight that is, yet it still uh, does a very good job of keeping me warm. And then, and then to finish things off, I will be bringing an extra pair of sock liners with me, Cool Mesh 2 again. Uh, and then down below there, I do have a second pair of Darn Tough quarter length hiking socks. I always bring two pairs of hiking socks and specifically have one pair of camp socks that I always keep dry and always keep clean. And then, of course, to finish everything off, I got to talk about the rain gear, of course. These are some of my favorite pieces of equipment, so incredibly lightweight and yet still completely waterproof. To the left there is the Outdoor Research Helium 2 rain jacket. That comes in at an extraordinarily lightweight 6.4 ounces. Gotta love it. I don't mind not having a whole lot of ventilation. It's on my backpack 90% of the time, but it's there when I need it. To your right are the pants to go along with it. The Outdoor Research Helium Rain Pants, those come in at a solid 5.4 ounces. So, okay, guys, that is the clothing system that I'll be starting my Appalachian Trail through hike with. The total weight of the items that I'll be going inside my backpack, again, not the items that I'll be hiking in, but the items inside my backpack, Total item, the total weight of those items is only set at four pounds, five ounces. So for cold weather gear, um, you know, especially some sub freezing temperature gear kind of thing, uh, I'm very happy with that system. Again, it's worked very well for me in particular. I know everybody else has their own styles, their own ways of doing things. Some people run really warm and they don't have to bring as many clothes. Some people run a lot colder and they have to bring more. But this is the system that works well for me. And at only four pounds, five ounces, I could not be happier. So now let me uh, switch some things up a little bit and we'll go over uh, the clothing system that I'll be carrying for the warmer weather months and talk about how I can make some changes and things in between as well. So, okay, everybody, once again, here we have uh, the clothes I expect to carry with me during the warmer weather months. Now, understandably, this is just what, what I have planned out for thus far. Things can change along the way. I can always mail things home, have other items mailed down to me, so on and so forth. This is just what I have planned out thus far. And once again, everything on the left side are going to be the items of clothing I'll be hiking in. Therefore, they will not be counting against my overall weight. All the items to the right side there will be inside or on my backpack some way, shape, or another. And therefore, they will be counting against my overall weight. So let's go ahead, start off with my hiking clothes. Obviously, there's been some changes. One thing remaining the same, however, I will still be rocking the Ultra Lone Peak 3.5s. I love these shoes. I will be going with the exact same sock combination. It's just too comfortable to pass up. Certainly, I can always change things as they go along, but this is what I'm planning for thus far. Cool Mesh 2 socks to your left. To your right are your uh, darn tough quarter length. Gators, I gotta have them. They're not just there to keep the rain and the snow out. They're also great for during the uh, warmer weather, drier months to keep all the dirt and debris out of your shoes. The worst thing is getting that one pebble that's just so irritating. It can also tear your feet apart. Rock the gators. Keep your, keep your feet nice and safe. And of course, the buff that you always see me wearing. I will never leave home without this thing. This hopefully will get all the way up to Maine with me. We'll see how far I can take it. Obviously, I have some backups in case this gets a little bit too grimy. But rinse it out, keep it clean. Hopefully, it gets all the way there. Once again, the Outdoor Research Echo Duo. Really nice and lightweight, extremely breathable. Uh, I really love this thing. In just some of my day hikes I've taken it on, I can already see a huge improvement over my REI Co-op Tech T. And then, of course, coming back down to the Solomon Cairn uh, running shorts. Gotta love it. Nice and lightweight, nice and breathable. Not, not much more I can say, especially the breathability during those hot summer months with the liner included. Uh, definitely goes a long, long way. So, uh, so, okay, those were the clothes I plan on hiking in. Obviously, some small changes. I won't be carrying the long sleeve shirt. I won't be carrying the odd low uh, tights either. Uh, going a little bit lighter, a little bit more breathable. Keep me nice and cool and hopefully as dry as I possibly can. So now it's time to move on to 
uh, the nitty gritty, what I plan on wearing as my camp clothes, my rain gear, so on and so forth. Let's go ahead and get down, down into it, starting with what I plan on sleeping with at night. Once again, we have the ex officio boxer briefs. Like I said previously, these I can use to sleep in at night if it's really warm, at least to cover up a little bit, of course. And then uh, certainly I can always plan to wear these underneath my rain gear as my laundry is getting done. Uh, this is something that I rarely plan on wearing, so they will stay clean. Yes, I will still be rocking the uh, Smart Wool base layers. They're really nice and lightweight for only a few ounces, at least adding that long sleeve protection if it rains with the temperatures dropping at night on some of those days with the wind picking up. Just having that long sleeve protection for something that's still so incredibly lightweight definitely goes a long way. And yeah, I will be bringing the uh, pants with me at only five ounces. How can I pass that up? Just keeping myself a little bit warmer, especially after a long day if I was hiking through the rain and the temperatures dropped to help keep my legs nice and warm as well so I don't cramp up. I don't plan on that happening, of course. I never plan on that happening. But you can never really tell how your body's going to react to, uh, you know, the changing temperatures, so on and so forth. Again, this is one of my favorite pieces of gear, the Patagonian Nano Air Light Hybrid. I absolutely love it. This will be uh, kind of like my insulating jacket to bring with me during the warmer weather months. Uh, it does the job. It's still pretty nice and lightweight, but I just love the overall versatility with a little bit more breathability to go along with it, yet still something to help keep me warm. At camp, you always got to have the dry socks. Always got to have the dry socks when you get to camp. I will just be bringing with me the REI Merino wool liners. Uh, during the hot summer months, just to at least put that breathable, pe dry pair of socks on kind of thing. It definitely goes a long way just to boost some morale when you put that really nice, clean pair of socks and clean pair of uh, underwear and clean pair of clothes on. And then, of course, to the right is the Mountain Hardware Beanie. Hey, at 0.8 ounces, coming into camp, putting that on, just holding that heat, releasing off the top of your head, definitely goes a long way with raising your body temperature and keeping you a little bit warmer. And for 0.8 ounces, less than one ounce, of course, I'm going to bring it with me. Just goes a long way for such a lightweight item. Rain gear will remain the same. Outdoor Research Helium 2 rain jacket, 6.4 ounces, incredibly lightweight. Gotta love it during those hotter summer months. Certainly, this is not just to keep the rain off of me. If it's super warm out, I welcome the rain. But for those windy days, so on and so forth, uh, great to block the wind, help to trap my body heat inside and raise my body temperature on a chilly night kind of thing. For such a lightweight item, can still go a long way. And then same thing with the uh, rain pants. Instead of bringing a mid instead of bringing a midweight base layer pant with me, something a little bit warmer than the Smartwool Ultralights, I decided to bring uh, the uh, rain pants instead. Again, they can double up to keep the rain out. Uh, they can block the wind, and of and of course, they can trap my body heat inside a little bit more, help keep me warm on those chilly nights. Yes. It still does get chilly in the middle of the summer. It's so hot during the day that all of a sudden it drops into the mid-60s and it feels a lot cooler. So just carrying a couple little items that are only worth a few ounces, it definitely goes a long way. And of course the extras. Uh, Got to get some extras in there, of course. Let me start to the left side. I will be getting rid of one of my buffs and replacing that with a Brooks uh, running visor. This is a great way to help keep the sun off my face, number one. And of course, I bring a bug net during this warmer months. Dealing with some of the flies and the gnats, it can get really annoying. Obviously, you don't want to put bug spray anywhere near your face. So having the brim helps keep that net away from my face, a little bit easier to breathe. And of course, keeps the bugs away from my face as well. Right side there, up top, the Cool Mesh 2 sock liners. Just, just a secondary pair, of course, to bring with me. And down below, the same pair, Darn Tough. Uh, quarter length socks. Again, just two pairs of hiking socks, one pair of camp socks. Got to keep it going there. Now, during the summer, of course, you are sweating a whole lot more. Your clothes are getting a whole lot more grimy during the summer and the uh, warmer weather months as they are getting during the colder weather months. You have pollen falling from the trees. Your clothes are going to get filthy. So it's always nice to have a second pair of hiking clothes or a second pair of clothes to keep for uh, going through town, so on and so forth. Something nice and versatile while still maintaining something nice and lightweight. To the left side there, another Outdoor Research Echo Duo t-shirt, 2.8 ounces, really breathable, really nice and lightweight, can't go wrong. To the right, another pair of the Solomon Cairn running shorts. Obviously, I'm trying to get the same exact things 
I like the way they feel, so on and so forth. They're very comfortable, so I don't want to have to get used to something new on the trail. I can have something to switch out with. That's the same exact item, same exact feel. So, all right, everybody, that is going to be the clothing system that I plan on carrying with me during the warm weather months. Uh, again, some of those things can change. I can always uh, send some other things home, hold on to, to some things, so on and so forth. Who knows? Uh, we'll see how things play out from there. It's a few months down the road, obviously. Now, the total weight of those items that will be going inside or on my backpack is going to be at three pounds, one ounce. So the fact that I have a weight savings of over one pound off my base weight is really, really nice. That's going to definitely go a long way to stretch out some of those longer miles with, when I have some longer days. Now, in addition to that, obviously, I'm bringing a long sleeve shirt and also those uh, Odlo tights for during the daytime, during those colder weather months. Those will obviously be sent home as well. Uh, now, those are going to be worn on my person the vast majority of the time, so I'm not counting those against my overall base weight, but... Since my body will just feel lighter, I'll be more breathable, obviously I'll be more maneuverable, so on and so forth. Obviously, I'm just going to move at a faster rate from there on out. So certainly, I can say, that yes, I'm going to have that also additional weight savings, but I'm going to be wearing those the overwhelming majority of the time anyway. But still, over a pound of weight savings, really, really, really happy with that. So uh, yeah, guys, there you have it. Uh, that's going to be my clothing system for what I'll start with and then what I'll have mailed down to me uh, as the seasons change over and the weather gets warmer. Uh, certainly a system that I have a lot of experience with. I'm very happy with the way it's performed for me. I know it upside down, inside now. I know it can do. I know what it can't do. Um, and it's something, And you know, it's something that I have a lot of confidence in. So certainly if you guys are putting the final touches on your own through hike and wondering about your clothing, I hope this helps you out a little tiny bit. Obviously, at the end of the day, go with what you feel comfortable with. You can always have things mailed to you or mail things home and switch things up. You know, it's not the end of the world if you decide upon what you want to go with and you have to mail something home. whoop de frickin' do. So again, I hope this helps some of you guys out. Thank you guys so much for watching another great video. Be sure to subscribe down below to keep up to date with all my future videos. For the last few days, I have my uh, final gear video coming out really, really soon. Uh, hit that like button. Hit that share button. Leave me a comment or a question down below. I always do appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys further on down the trail. Pleasure as always. Baba Ganoush out.